There's a saying out there that says, if you want to change your life, you have to change your life. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. What does that have to do with crafting? Well, I'll tell you. A long while ago, I read a comment on, I think it was Nicole at Relax Cut Glue's videos. You know, she's essentially the queen of glue books currently or she has been in the past there's a lot of people doing glue books now so maybe there's a, a runner-up coming who knows but the commenter said your projects always look so great mine always look the same or something like that and i kept thinking well she uses a lot of different sources for her images in fact there's another girl that does fantastic glue booking i will link her information below. I, I wasn't planning on talking about her, but she just popped into my mind. She has a similar video to this as to where she gets her glue book images and her glue books are like nothing else out there. And it's because where she harvests her magazine, her images, she gets her images from very different publications than most of us do by design. She seeks out different types of magazines and books and whatnot, and her glue books shine as a result of that. And so a few months back, several months now, I've been wanting to bring you this video for quite some time, <laughs> but I was at St. Vinny's when they actually had magazines. For some reason, the last several months, they've had nothing in the way of magazines, but they used to have quite a bit. I went in with the sole intent of getting things that I don't normally get. Now, one of the first things I picked up was this bizarre magazine because again, Nicole at Relax Cut Glue has a lot of very striking images in her glue books. And it's because she uses these types of magazines that have these wonderful photography things and, and higher end ads and wild fashion and crazy makeup or lack thereof big bold jewelry versus what most of us usually have and I think I can safely say that most of us harvest what we have slash harvest what we read or subscribe to if you're into gardening you probably get seed catalogs and blah and buy birds and blooms and flower garden magazines or mother earth news and so you use what you already have what's handy which is awesome you know that's the greatest place to start but if you're finding that everything looks the same, looks the same, you got to mix it up a little bit, thereby the use of the quote at the beginning. If you want your life to change, you have to change your life. The definition of insanity, of course, is doing the same thing you've been doing over and over again, expecting different results. Duh. It seems so simple, but so much, many of us get in a rut. How come it's all the same? How come it's all the same? How come my life never changes? Well, what are you doing to change it? <laughs> if you want your life to change drastically, you have to make some changes. We all get very comfortable in those ruts. And so I went into St. Vinny's with the sole intent of buying magazines I wouldn't normally buy. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of my collection. In fact, I'm starting... A hashtag I've already recorded a few videos but they're not out yet about harvesting different things and I've called it hashtag odd harvest it's an open collaboration if you'd like to use the hashtag please do so when you're harvesting something strange to you or strange to all of us or something out of the ordinary we'd love to see it because we are looking to mix things up and to and to add more varied images to the things we we create and of course it's not just for glue booking it's for journal images and making embellishments for your journals or your glue books or your altered books or using these gorgeous images in altered books as you know or may not know maybe you're new here welcome to all the new subscribers always glad to have you people who've been here a while i love you <laughs> and appreciate you i don't say that enough i just get on and start 
going on about the topic. I c collect for loads of different themes. I like my projects to have an overarching theme that coordinates whatever it is, be it an altered book, a junk journal, a glue book, folios, embellishments, whatever. I like my things to have a theme and so I collect for a lot of themes. So I harvest a lot of different things. So one of the first things I got was this Harper's Bazaar and this thing weighs a oh, good th two to three pounds. The paper is nice and heavy. The pictures are just, again, stellar. You get big, bold things, wonderful words that you don't get in Mother Earth News necessarily, or a seed catalog. Great fussy cutting for Colors Glue Book, or if you're doing a fashion junk, fashion themed junk journal, a nice pair of super red heels would be awesome. Oh, there's some purple ones. I don't buy this magazine. I'm not into fashion. This is not something I would sit down and just peruse because I'm into fashion or models or makeup. None of that interests me. What interests me are the fantastic images that are in here. So even though it's not inside my comfort zone, my normal box, I decided to purchase it. I went looking to buy something different. Moody Blooms. That's great play on words. I have a primaries book that I'm working on, so that would be perfect for that. I just recently did a magazine fodder video where you doodle flowers or paw prints or ferns or pumpkins or ghosts or upcoming could be Christmas stockings or, or Christmas berries or Christmas tree shapes out of magazine images. These would be perfect for that when you find these patterns. This black skirt would be a great addition to my ghost thing. Or you could cut out her black gloves and her black skirt for an invisible woman. It stretches your imagination. These new images give you something better to look at. Look at all these red pants. That would be great. Something different in a colors glue book. Marguerite Miller. I believe I uh, started it, but I saw Sue at A Call to Create doing a one color themed altered book, which is a fantastic idea. I've got a purple one going. I've been collecting for it for about a year and a half. I should probably start on it one of these days. But if you're doing red, we'll look at there. Look at all those pants and pants suits and ways to wear it. She could almost go in a 1960s project, a vintage project. If it's too shiny, glossy, new for you, just take some sewing pattern paper over it. Or I've seen people sand them down a little bit with a fingernail file. That takes that that dull down a lot and then go over it with your vintage photo. That, that quickly vintages up these shiny, glossy, new photographs. Another fantastic collection that you wouldn't normally see anywhere. Just a huge collection of these monogram classic bags. Beautiful. Big, bold images. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Simple. You, you don't get that in Women's Day. <laughs> because they... They're coming at their art and their photography and their lettering and all things from a completely different perspective than the people at Women's Day, Women's Day or Family Circle or Better Homes and Gardens. Those ones that are everywhere that we all have. So seek out. It could be Harper's Bazaar, Vogue would be another one. Uh, there's lots and lots of fashion magazines. In fact, I've got a... I don't think this is necessarily fashion but GQ magazine it's just for guys there is some fashion in here for sure but again everything in here is geared to a male audience who is on top of fashion on top of what's hip and what's cool at the time when is this this is April May of this year it's not that old so it's got these cool guys and cool shades and it's got it's kind of a foggy or a glare, photographic glare kind of a picture. 
that's cool. The three rings in the water for the three rings, the Trinity Cartier. So you're going to get guy stuff. You're going to get a little bit spicier stuff because men can handle it. Can you imagine someone giving the bird in Women's Day? Oh my God, people would have a stroke. But in a GQ magazine, eh, that's all right. What the hell? And he's in a sequin jacket because why not? Sequin jacket and a cowboy hat. Very different pictures. Grunge and graffiti. That's a great picture. And not something you're going to see in a seed catalog. Look at those old shoes. His favorite old shoes. Great. Again, graffiti. Dark Kingdom. That took some work. Dark, I got Kingdom. Look at it. Creepified. Ugh. Zombioid. Oh, look at him and his cape. Tis the season, it's Halloween. Look at those headphones, that's amazing. Stuff I wouldn't normally have. I love that boots. Very creepy. Black, ornate, different, fun, cool. This is why some glue bookers projects look better than others. I shouldn't say better, I should say different. Because it's not better, it is what it is. Theirs is different because they use different stuff. Yours is just as good, but you use different stuff. Look at his outfit. Shoes, tube socks, ugh. Silky satin, way too big for him shorts. A sort of Hawaiian shirt with a Canadian goose on it. And a red aeroplane. Uh, Semi-cool sunglasses and a some kind of baseball cap and he's going he's going fishing he's got his fishing pole and his lines there all kinds of little fishing lure tiny little clip art another giving the middle finger you're gonna see that a lot it's a guy's magazine you're gonna see things that guys like like snakes and camouflage and barbecue and big toys Looky there, he's back. Oh, that's the same guy. Still giving us the finger. Danny McBride. Apparently, he's the, he's all through here. Oh, those are not antlers. They are crab claws because he's got a great big sort of clam bake thing going on. There you go. There's my little crab from my crab collection. He likes bikinis. You know, it's a guy thing. Oh, look at the color of that. It practically looks like it's got a light behind it. Perfume ads. Possess and rule. Another book that I would not normally pick up, but this was part of that same... I'm, I'm going there to get something different because I want something different. Godzilla vs. King Kong. Not a big fan. I used to watch Godzilla movies when I was a kid. So so there is a tiny little bit of connection. I love the movie King Kong. Except it's so sad. People are horrible to animals. But it's got phenomenal pictures in it. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous art. These would be fun for round tags. If you have a hole punch this would be a lot easier. Not a hole punch. A circle punch. This would be a lot easier if you had the same size. You just punch a whole bunch of light cardboard light chipboard circles and then glue the ones you like on it poke a little hole a little bit of baker's twine and you've got a really cool embellishment of some sort there's an old king kong old godzilla just some really neat again very different but that's what it's all about phenomenal if you're doing colors if you're doing weather if you're doing the the doodle fodder this is a great background for the doodle stuff unleash the beasts i'm gonna put that in my my boston's book just for fun oh my god look at that close-up of that mug isn't he awesome 
He's just cool. He's all right. Giant ransom letters, if you don't want to use the word Godzilla. I think this is the picture that made me buy it because for my colors glue book, he's going to be a very unique addition to my blue pages because, you know, look at that. Look at the three-headed dragon, angry dragon, for the yellow pages in my colors glue book. Very different. Now, I'd only use one Godzilla picture in the colors glue book. Maybe two, because he's not really Godzilla necessarily, so he might go in the yellow, but I wouldn't want to put every picture I find in here in one book. Otherwise, it's going to be a Godzilla book or a King Kong book, and I don't want that. I just want to add one super unique piece to something. What else is in here? Some great vintage television or movie pictures. Some new ones dressed up to look vintage. Queen Kong, some behind the scenes. Aww. Aww. Vintage movie, city scenes, different kind of jewelry than you would see other places. Oh, he's happy. Look at there. He has a star! on Hollywood Boulevard. How wonderful. Some great vintage movie stills. I have, I know it's a big surprise, but I have a horror collection for a journal or a glue book for just horror stuff. That would go wonderful in a vintage page. Into UFOs or space exploration or vintage scary movies from the 50s. They almost all had aliens of some sort. Catalogs are great places to get things for your projects. I'd like to do a vintage watercolor journal, including vintage watercolors, but primarily about vintage watercolor supplies. I just love the look of that. Just for fun, for Franken phrases, would be cool. Small things, I have miniature glue books going on and I love notebooks and journals so I would probably cut that out. All kinds of colors. This would just be great cut out and stuck on a page. It can be, doesn't have to be a colors glue book. There's a lot of rainbow stuff in art catalogs because they want you to see, look, it comes in every color. So if you're doing a rainbow book or a colors glue book that has the whole spectrum in it, you're all set with something like this. I have a writer's project that I'm collecting for beautiful uh, dip pens and fountain pens and beautiful other writing implements and journals and papers and things can, that go along with stationery. I'm collecting all of that stuff for that project. There's a lot of that kind of thing in here. Certainly cut out fussy cut you know, beautiful cherries and that stinking stupid butterfly because they have a lot of them. Oh, there's a parrot. There's a nice parrot. This is also, if you are into art and crafting and whatnot and you, the stuff just makes your heart go pitter patter, order a few catalogs, cut them up and make yourself a vision board or a dream board or what you want your reality to look like board and fill it with things that you would like just shop the catalog and if you want this Prismacolor set, cut that out and put it on your vision board or in a vision board glue book spread or an entire glue book of things that you want. Your wish list. There's for my watercolor, Arches watercolor block. Like term journals are wonderful. I cut that out just for a purple journal or because I like it. Just cut that out beautiful little palettes. I mean, there's so much on every page in here to explore, to lust after, to collect. I have a page in my daily glue book that's all about yarns and stuff. I have a lot of blank spaces so I can come back and cut out that ball yarn and these, I think they're called cake. Yeah, cakes and this little bit of yarn. This kind of stuff, even though it's kind of monotonous, would make fun doodles, paw prints, and ferns, and, and berries, and that stuff out of these. You get a little bit of black and white with just this little pop of color. That would be really cool. These just bits and pieces of this would be cool in a master board. Take out just the square and make faux postage stamps with the multiple colors. 
I mean, there's so many ideas in all of these all of these. I hope you're taking notes because there's a lot of stuff here. When I first started getting into glue booking, which was a few years after I got into junk journal, to me it falls under the same umbrella. Uh, I was lucky enough that our library in 2020 was going, undergoing a huge, they, they emptied the whole building, reconfigured it on the inside and made some additions and changes. And so they were cleaning house. You know, anytime it's you're moving is a good time to get rid of some stuff. Table. There was a table out front of the library because it was pandemic, so it was closed. But every day they put out new stuff, books that were being purged, magazines that were being purged. And I got so many things that I would normally not have gotten. The one that I remember the most was one called Guns and Gardens. It's a Florida magazine. Money. I mean, the magazine itself weighed about eight pounds because the paper was so heavy. It was all about guns and gardens. I, I didn't even know such a thing existed. It's a magazine from Florida. But astronomy, look how gorgeous that is. Colors Glue Book, a book about celestial stuff, a book about astronomy, a book about the universe. Color doodles would be magnificent with these backgrounds. Moonscapes, starscapes. Just fantastic photography. A lot of colorful, you know, I have, I, I would like to do a lunar journal just all about the moon because I've always been obsessed. I am a moon child. I've always loved the moon. So phases of the moon, moon calendars. This is kind of cool for just a page edging or something different. A whole bunch of constellations. Can just stunning photography look at that that is an eye is it not i mean that's an eyeball even with an eyelid this one looks like a fox his eye and his muzzle and his the white of his muzzle so if you have a fox thing going on there's a celestial fox things you don't find in other magazines audubon my mom's neighbor was a contributor to many, many, many conservancy type places. And so she had a stack of a lot of different magazines. Conservancy magazine, conservationists magazine. Nature is, in fact, stranger than fiction. That's no lie. Him. Wouldn't he be beautiful in a blue book or a blue page of a colors book? Even that, they're... That is a floating restaurant up there. Serves as a laboratory for scientists studying the purple Martin. Ooh, look at him. Oh, with his little tracker. Kind of sad to me. <laughs> I'm glad they're studying him, but it seems like there's a better way to connect a radio tag. Jamming it in his spine. Tools of the trade. There's some creepy black and white stuff. Oh, some beautiful owl pictures. You have to be careful sometimes in these type of magazines there's death and carnage like in this particular magazine in order to save the northern spotted owl they're having to kill barred owls because barred owls kill these or eat all their food or something so there's a picture of a truck with several dead barred owls in in an attempt to save the spotted owl look for old stuff and don't be afraid to cut it up this is from 1963 Oh, that's fun. I think it's Martis Miller. That's kind of cool. My, my last name is on there. Anyway, different things. Genuinely old ephemera. Beautiful vintage illustrations. Old, old, old recipes. Just fun project fodder. Harvest time. Great old advertisements. Hormonex. Yes, please. Sure, why not? Did your false teeth break? We can repair them at home for $1.98. Mittens with rickrack. I mean, look at that. Old, old, old. You can still mail it. No postage necessary. Right to Don McNeil in Chicago. For what? What are we doing? Oh, a bell tone book. Improve your hearing. Mm-hmm. Don't be deaf. This is just a treasure trove of wonderful old fun things backs have fun ads motor trend i love 
I love vehicles. I love some sports cars and a lot of SUVs. So I'm kind of into cars and trucks. SUVs more than anything. So this is kind of fun. But there are pictures in here for Colors Glue Book. I know that's kind of a fun picture to add to a black page in a Colors Glue Book. Or a cool, I would wait for a white raised letter tire to add to my, I prefer those. Oh, he's kind of cool. Lamborghini. I used to have a Mazda RX-7 1985. The last year they made the great body style and its little headlights flipped up. And people all the time ask me, is that a Lamborghini? Because my headlights flipped up. Uh, no, those doors flip up. Some really cool sports cars. Um, what do they call those? Road rally cars. Rally cars. Super fun. That's a cool old picture. Well, not an old picture, but would go in a vintage book for sure. There's some vintage race cars that not everyone's going to have. And that is the point of all of this. This is a McLaren 720S. That is a beautiful addition to an orange colors page. This is really cool. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's really cool pattern. Make great faux washi tape. There's enough of it there to have a strip of it. Two strips of it so not only is it looking for different things to harvest but when you're in them looking for different ways to harvest different things i found a lot of really cool old pictures these are from readers digest condensed book collections they used to have the older ones have a lot of beautiful illustrations these would easily go in a junk journal vintage junk journal vintage glue book altered book easily on good and evil you can get words of good and evil just fun so books not necessarily just not just readers digest but old textbooks i have recently shown or recorded a video of i have an old english textbook from i don't know, 60s 70s 50s i don't know how old it is but i took all the pictures out of that and now I'm using it for something really cool. So stay tuned for that. Or maybe it's out already. I'm recording a lot. And then I'll edit them later. So I don't know what order these are all going to come out. Weird magazines. Things that you wouldn't normally think of. But look at all the clip art. There's medicine bottles and germs and little hearts. Now what would that be used for? Well... You know, we were in a pandemic, so there were lots of pandemic journals. Winter's coming, so cold and flu season. Syringes and pills. I have a couple, like I said, I have a horror thing going on, but I have a couple other themes that those would fit into that I'm not quite ready to reveal just yet. Some fun, tiny little pictures. Stay healthy this winter. Huge ransom letters. Here's how you can reduce your... That would be good for Franken phrases. Yep, I've gone ahead and changed the name. Look at me go. Sorry, Amy, I'm sorry. Don't get confused. You can still use piles to poems too. It's all the same. We can have both hashtags. Either way, if you use one or the other, it means the same. We will be able to find you. What can we find in here? More ransom letters. How to save. Help! Some green clip art for a green colors blue book page. Big numbers. Five stars. Things for the color. Ooh, colored numbers. Look at all the different colored numbers. In my daily glue book, I have a two-page spread that I've been collecting called just numbers. Those would be awesome. That's a cool picture. Just that red, half a red van. Fun little clip art. Yum fest. I'm collecting QR codes. I prefer the cool ones that are shaped and colored and theme related but i've been collecting regular ones too dogger be a warrior for your greatest dreams that's awesome post that on your bathroom mirror nice vintage pilot photo pilot harvey in front of world war ii era p-47 thunderbolt fighter plane yeah making wishes come true but there's a lot in here it doesn't look like there would be but there's a lot in here there's another part of a car that would be cool in a blue project giant homely jewelry there's a bigger version of that billy crystal picture oh a giant qr code fussy cutting 
fussy cutting. Heavy duty magazines, different magazines. These, they have very heavy pages too. Like look at all those minis, those would be great. Cut them all up exactly the same size and put two by two together and they'd make great page tabs, one on each side. That would be fun. Just different stuff. They'd be great inchies or part of artist trading cards or part of a master board. Super kind of cool owl. Some faux washi tape right there. If you don't like the whole thing, just take the parts that you do like. More inchies and twinchies. This is a horrible logo. Create roves? Create droves? Oh, create loves. Right? We can almost read it, for God's sake. Lots of fussy cutting. Banners we love. That's awful. It's a stupid one. You can't even tell what it is. You know. Stuff that you don't find anywhere else is in these magazines. And if you want yours to stand out from all the rest of yours, you have to do something different. And that might be harvesting different things. Oh, look at for a sewing journal or a vintage craft journal. I love that picture of all those filled old jars. You are enough. Again, just take that whole thing and post it where you can see it all the time. Beautiful old mason jar. Lots of just plain stuff. Doodle on here. Write on here. Use this as page edging. Fun clip art. Some big beautiful buttons. You know, of course be inspired by the work, but then hack it up. Once you've read it and consumed it, blogging leads to... That's good for franken phrases. These kinds of things... I would cut that out. I just like the way I love watercolor and pen and ink, how they work together. I love that. But this would be great to cut out the flower and then doodle doodle some stuff on it because of the magical background that's going on. Same here. This would make a great doodle magazine fodder. Some beautiful sea urchins. Tiny little things. Don't, don't overlook the ads. This is great. Cut out the alphabet. Cut out these little black and white. They look like faux postage stamps. Artful postage stamps. Little tiny. Make them faux Polaroids. They already have the drop shadow on them. There's some more for my knitting crochet pages. Some more line art. Look at, look how pretty that is. This is artful blogging, by the way. Take 10. Just some beautiful things that would go in vintage books. You don't have to do anything to them. Add a piece of faux vintage tape and boom, you're done. That sort of x-ray looking moth. Nice Dagmus. Beautiful deep, deep indigo. I would cut that and just put it in an indigo book. Luma Lion? I think that's what that says. Little fuzzy bears. Daisies. Oh, look at all that would go in my watercolor book really well. there's more knitting stuff oh look at all the colored ribbons and somerset studio beautiful same exact ideas as with the artful blogging there's so much in here the paint chips the art supplies the beautiful fonts things for franken phrases this always gives you places to try the things that they're telling you to do Things you can cut out, things you can fussy cut, things you can use for backgrounds for f doodle fodder. They give you pages to play with too. I covered my summer journal with one of their pages because it was all lake colors. Just tore it out and glued it on the cover of my, my comp book. It's easy peasy. Oh, look at so many options here cut each piece out use this page as a page what's on the back oh it's a page that we can use just fold it in half and then decorate this side put that right in a journal you don't have to do much to it so many cool things you can do 
but you need to step out of the same old stuff the same old stuff or you're gonna get the same old stuff i hope you enjoyed this i hope it gave you some ideas because that's that's yeah. what it's all about is giving you ideas on how to jazz up your projects whether it be altered book junk journals glue books embellishments master boards collages even 3d art a lot of people do three-dimensional collage stuff on found objects this is all great for that as well you go love up your beastlies today's a great day to just have a dog or dogs and me day curl up on the couch take them for a walk give them extra treats play some games because you never know what tomorrow's gonna bring Mate at the lake. Out for now.